What's up guys, I'm Brandon, or COD Gameplay, or Fuel Up, my gamer tag, and today we have a match of Firing Range TDM using the MPL, my end score is 25-1, and 1. I have Dual Megs, Hardline Pro, Side of Hand Pro, and I believe I have Ninja, so what I have today is to talk about is I just came back from PAX Prime in Seattle, don't know what PAX Prime is, you're missing out, it's a gaming convention, tons of games, Tons of people. I met I met lots of people. I played tons of games, and it was it was a good time. It was a good time. Um, I met Tucker or Jericho as you guys know him by, and that was pretty cool, honestly, because I play with them on a daily to weekly basis on FIFA, Call of Duty, whatever game. I talk to them, and so meeting someone you play online with in in real life is a pretty cool experience because. You're playing with them, you're talking to them, you see their face in videos that they post, but you you don't really, you don't interact with them, like, face to face, right? In real life. And so that was, that was a pretty cool experience. He's an awesome dude, no different than his videos or Xbox Live, exactly the same. But anyways, the games that I played were Counter-Strike Global Offensive, Ghost Recon Future Soldiers, Assassin's Creed Revelations, Resistance 3, Twisted Metal, GoldenEye 007 Reloaded, Rage, Need for Speed The Run, SSX, Starhawk, and Battlefield 3. That was a bit fast, and some of them were actually uh, PS3 exclusives. The reason for that being is because Delta Kanakian, or the person that took me, Sandro, is a pl plays on PS3, so he wanted to play some PS3, and so... I was definitely interested in, in seeing some of it because personally I have an Xbox so I've never actually tried a PS3 exclusive. Gotta admit some of those games were actually pretty sick. Xbox still takes a cake for online gameplay I think. I don't want to start console war at all. If you're playing offline, PS3 is definitely the way to go with all the exclusives. If you're playing online, want the online experience of partying and everything, I think Xbox is the way to go. But whatever, I don't want to start a console war. The Counter-Strike Global Offensive. My thoughts on it, I thought it was amazing, beautiful, playing on console, I, I don't think it felt super smooth on console, and that's that's to be noted, because Counter-Strike is obviously a PS3, or PC game, and it is definitely meant to be played on the PC. Don't think it was the best idea to bring it over to console, but anyways, it was fun for like a casual gamer like me, don't think it would be become too serious on console at all. On PS3, they have a cross-platform playing with the PC, so PS3 people, if you do not have a keyboard or mouse, I think they will get demolished because it, it, as much as you want to say con like controller is as good as keyboard and mouse, you get a top maybe 1,000 PC Counter-Strike player, and you put a, or Call of Duty player, and you put them up with the top 1,000 uh, console player, and you burst them cross-platform. Chances are the PC player will win because the the mouse is perfectly on precise Very very accurate Battlefield 3 quickly. I played only a campaign mission I got no footage of it because I asked them to say no not allowed to post any footage And that's understandable because they've only actually released any alpha gameplay No campaign so they didn't want to give away any of that, but I'll make maybe make another video about packs I'm called gameplay Thanks for watching this quick short commentary, and I'm signing out. Peace.